When you're hauling around heavy steel chain all day, you're bound to get pretty tired or even injured. On top of that, using steel chain adds weight to your lifts and reduces your load capacity. At the same time, chains can leave scuffs, scratches, or dents to your equipment, as well as loads being lifted. The Tycan chain may be the solution that you've been looking for to help you make your lifts safer and less taxing on your employees and equipment. In this video, we'll be getting into the specs of the Tycan chain, pros and cons, and real life applications. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Kay, and today we are speaking with Justin Yoke, our lifting specialist out in West Virginia, whose background is in replacing wire ropes with synthetic rope. Justin, can you tell me a little bit about the Tycan chain, what it looks like, and what it does? Sure, so uh, Tycan chain is a, uh, a synthetic chain. It's made out of Dyneema fiber, which is the strongest man-made fiber in the world. Um, so it's got a phenomenal strength to weight ratio. Everything that you do with a steel chain, you can do with this pretty much, but you get the, the great characteristics of not only the light weight and the strength, but also with it being Dyneema, it's UV resistant. Uh, it floats, it does not absorb water. Um, it's uh, a lot greener where it doesn't have a lot of the oils and stuff like a, a wire rope or a chain can. So if you're working you know, near water, things of that nature, no rust or anything like that. So and this stuff is a lot softer, so you don't mar up your equipment. If you're using it in a crane application and you're really tight on your weight there, that's a good way to take off a couple hundred pounds from your, your under crane uh, weight. So anything you, you're currently using a steel chain in, um, you could pretty much use this for, even as far, going as far as uh, tie down. So um, a lot of companies, you know, use grade 70 or grade 43 chain to tie down uh, new equipment that they're shipping on flatbeds, things of that nature. Underground mining, uh, the big application where we first started getting into this with, um, they were towing um, underground rail cars and things that, that were broken down. And when you go to make a turn on the rail, you need to be able to shorten up the legs so that the, the one side turns and the other side doesn't. Um, so that was a great application. Um, and again, with underground mining, if, it, if a chain breaks, uh, there's nowhere to run. And it's, it's caused many, many injuries. So going to the synthetics um, has really helped save a lot of life and limb uh, with that application. I mean, anything made of this Dyneema material, um, due to kinetic energy, when it breaks, it kind of just falls to the ground. There's not even a, a whipping motion or anything like that. Well, the links are so big on these things that you can actually just stick a shackle uh, right inside those and, and use a shackle on each end to pull with or, or whatever. So it's really versatile. And when you're talking about shortening up the chain with a steel chain, you have to have a grab hook on the top to be able to shorten up with. It's the only type of hook that's going to be able to get that chain to fit right into the pocket and shorten it up. Well, with this, with it being so big, you can use any type of chain, including a, a safety chain that will actually lock in there. Um, so the length that you're shortened up to, it won't pop out. There's no chance of that. So it's actually a little bit safer in that too. No, there's no um, no shortest length or longest. We can do whatever. We can do two legs, three legs, four legs, just like steel chain. Um, endless, you know, an endless uh, chain donut as, as they call them in the mines. Whatever you're doing currently with your steel chain, we can just uh, make a direct comparison. So what would you say are the biggest benefits to using the Tycan chain? I think your biggest benefits are gonna be, I mean, the safety factor. I mean, um, if, if you're generally concerned about having, you know, the safest options for your people, not only like the brakes and everything that can happen there, but just lugging around chain. Instead of three guys carrying one sling, you can have one guy carrying three slings. You also have no pinch points that that chain can have. You're lugging around big, heavy three quarter chain, whatever thing like that. Um, you know, people's people's fingers get pinched, hands smashed, all that stuff. So you're missing out on those uh, injuries. That the weather doesn't affect it, so it's not rusting. You're not having to retire chains because of rust, um, and uh, no bent links uh, where it's not steel. I mean, so it's just uh, it's going to last a lot longer in the right applications. Well, it sounds amazing. Yeah, it really is a cool product. Are there any cons to it, and what are they? So really the only cons that you're going to experience on this is um, the cut potential and melt potential. 
Um, and I don't say that to like be like, oh, you know, you can cut this with a butter knife or, you know, it can melt in the sun. It's going to take a, a lot to, to cut it. And um, I think melt, you're, you're getting up to around 280 degrees before it even starts to, to even become a factor. Um, but the cut potential is probably the biggest one. Um, and so you're going to have to, there are going to be some applications to where it's not going to be the right fit. Um, you know, if you're t talking about picking up uh, extremely heavy steel plates that are, are pretty thin or something, and it's got to go around the steel plate, probably wouldn't use it in that sort of application. Um, but even in the, the cut applications, like the ropes, we can protect this a little bit better. So um, if it is one where, you know, a cut is a potential issue, we actually have uh, tube guards that we can kind of put up over this stuff and protect it a little bit more. Um, so there are options for that. Um, but really, those are the only cons that you're looking at. So you mentioned a little bit about the cost. What's the price comparison between the Taycan chain and just a steel chain? Sure. Um, basically, what I've seen early on um, going against a grade 100 steel chain that's around the same capacity, um, it's about one and a half times the cost, somewhere around there. It's not um, overly shocking uh, for sure because grade 100 steel chain costs so much in itself. Um, they do have specific hardware for this, and I have been asked that. Can I just use my regular chain hooks with a clevis pin and, and just stick it in there? No, because you're going to get a whole lot of bunching. Your DDD ratios are going to be a little messed up, so they do have specific hooks. But you can use any shackle, anything like that. But as far as hooks, they do have specific ones. In the right application, I mean, you might get five, ten times the life out of this. A lot of times I'll go in with, with the rope, and the feedback that I'll hear back is, our guys aren't going to take care of it, so you know, paying more it just doesn't make sense because they're they're just going to trash it or whatever. They're not going to uh, be careful about you know not cutting it and all this stuff. And then what they find if they actually go through with it is that those dudes love working with that stuff so much that they're taking care of it, and then they want to make sure that you know that ain't going anywhere, and you, and they're going to make sure that you're you're going to be ordering more of it because, I said, I mean, it's just. Talk about a seventh or an eighth the weight. I mean, that is, that is absolutely huge. You've talked a little bit about the weight ratio. Can you go into that some more? When you're going size for size, um, it's it's going to be around an eighth the weight of its steel counterpart. Um, and then as far as strength goes, um, you're looking like the ropes versus wire ropes. You're looking at roughly a three to five percent increase in strength over steel. Can you tell me a little bit about the capacity of the Taycan chain? Right now, currently, with it being such a brand new product, uh, there's only four sizes currently. Um, and they're identified by their capacity in a single leg vertical lift. Um, so you have a 2.6 ton, a 4 ton, a 5 ton, and a 6.8 ton capacity right now. Hopefully we'll be getting up to some bigger sizes. Um, but right now those can replace you know anything you're doing up to right around uh, half inch. So. Um, it can, it can replace some big bulky chain for you and, and really lighten it up. Um, and of course, like I said, we can still do multi-leg slings. Um, so if you do have an application that's like a 10 ton lift, well, we can make you a four leg, five ton uh, capacity one, something like that, that can handle your lift still. So we can get creative. So when we talk about inspecting the chain, what does that look like? We're, we're kind of working with Van Beast to kind of try to figure a lot of this stuff out. But uh, basically it's gonna have the same um, inspection criteria as an HMPE rope. Um, so like, as you can see, this is actually, it's got layers of Dyneema is, is what it is. And you know, the more layers, the stronger the links are gonna be. Um, so you're looking for cuts in those plies right there, weld splatter, or stuff like that. All right, well, those are all my questions, Justin. Thank you so much. No problem, thank you. If you're looking for more information on the Taycan chain, check out our blog article by clicking the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. And tell us what you think of the Taycan chain. Once again, my name is Kay, and I'll see you later.